On June 8, 2023, a homeless man named Heriberto Alejandro Sanchez Mayan was sleeping on cardboard in a vacant lot. Officer Sarah Gaddis of the St. Petersburg Police Department approached Mr. Sanchez, and the incident was recorded by a body cam. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, I, I fell asleep. You know you're trespassing out here, right? Is this yours? Huh? No, no, no. That's my house. Put your shoes on. You can come over to my car. I'm going to write you a ticket, okay? Okay. All right. Actually, put my shoes. S41, is the van here by any huh? chance? Can you come over to 251 15th Street and S41? This is going to be a trespassing. I'll be 15. Oh, you know my ticket? Yeah, come on over to the car. Okay. You got everything that's yours? Are you leaving your beer cans behind? That's all mine. Yeah, right. That's the one you always drink. No. Yes. Yeah, no, it's right next to you. Plus, you always drink those. Yeah, but that's all mine. Could you please zip up your fly? Huh? Zip up your pants. From the very first moment of the incident, Officer Sarah Gaddis preferred to escalate and prove her power instead of taking a solution-oriented approach. Her treatment of Mr. Sanchez also raises questions about her police training. Do you see this sign right here? You see, can you oh, read no, what, I didn't see it. What's that say? No, not so Do you know what it's, okay. So you know that you're not supposed to be here? Which way did you come in? Huh? Which way did you come into this park? Just, I don't know. Just, did just, you walk in from this way or did you walk in from that way? That way. All right, well, there's a sign over there too. I didn't see it. Well. Can't be helped. Can't be helped. Go ahead and drop your bag. You got anything in there? No, just drop it down. You're fine. Drop it on the ground. There you go. Let me get some gloves. Anything in your pockets? Come on, see what. Take them out. Take my telephone. Huh? My telephone, I'm going Okay, put them down there. Anything else? Not there. Oh, that's what the uh, what is that? by, by, by uh, church. Okay, Chinese church. Yeah. Okay. No drugs or nothing. No. Okay. <clears throat> nothing in your shoes. No. 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 Oh, you got a hernia, huh? Huh? Yeah. I yeah. You're gonna me a ticket? No, you're gonna take the ride today. Huh? I've decided that you're gonna actually go to jail today. Oh, I've had no, far too many problems with you. Yes, that'd be good. No, absolutely not. Laws related to sleeping in public places in Florida may include trespassing, loitering, and urban camping ordinances. Trespass laws apply to sleeping on private property without permission. Loitering laws may apply to idling in public places with the intent to disturb order. 
Urban camping ordinances regulate sleeping in places such as parks. Enforcement can lead to citations, fines or arrest, depending on the situation and local ordinances. In the present case, Mr. Sanchez complied with the orders of the police and did not cause them any difficulty. Therefore, the police can only be expected to give him a warning, but unfortunately, things will get out of hand in the rest of the video. We're getting all kinds of complaints. Can't be doing this. Okay? So he's coming now, and then he'll take you out. Sure, I want him. Let me take it, please. No. Come on, let's go over here. You get tickets all the time. You don't care. You don't change your ways. Right here. Is your stuff. Herberto. Herberto. Mayan Sanchez. I'll get it for you, Mr. Packer. Yeah. I think after a certain many of you, this should be a felony after a certain amount. After a certain amount of any crime, it should be a felony. In the United States, arrested offenders may be fitted with handcuffs or leg restraints as a standard security measure. This is done to prevent escape or harm to themselves or others taking into account factors such as the seriousness of the alleged crime and the person's behavior. However, the decision to handcuff varies according to the jurisdiction and the judgment of law enforcement authorities. In this case, the shackling of Mr. Sanchez appears to be completely unjustified. Because he was a homeless man, the police forgot that he was a human being and treated him like a serial killer. <clears throat> Keeps coming in contact, yep. doesn't change his ways. What can we do? <laughs> a year in jail would probably settle it. What's that? A year in jail might solve it. Yeah, maybe. It's debatable. Mm -hmm. All right. That's plenty. It's a nice phone. Yeah, it's a nice phone. After being handcuffed, 
Sanchez Mayen was placed in the back of the van, which had no seat belts, according to the suit and video taken from inside the van. Officer Michael Thacker, who was driving the car for some unclear reason, possibly breaking hard at a red light, Mr. Sanchez was not wearing a seat belt and was thrown by the momentum and fell to the ground, hitting his head hard. The car's camera was not activated until this moment, and police Thacker activated the car's camera after hearing the loud noise. Since the activated camera recorded 30 seconds before, it can be seen that Mr. Sanchez fell quite badly, and it was entirely the fault of the police. Because according to the law, police officers are not obliged to provide medical assistance to the person they arrest, but they are obliged to ensure their safety and protection from harm. In this case, Officer Thacker is unequivocally guilty. Officer Thacker went to the Pinellas County Jail and found Mr. Sanchez lying on the ground and unresponsive. Instead of being courteous and ensuring that he received the necessary assistance, however, he attempted to pull him out of the car, causing Mr. Sanchez to again hit his head on the bumper, the door, and the concrete floor. Mr. Sanchez was taken to hospital for treatment after the incident and was found to have suffered a serious spinal cord injury that left him paralyzed. He also unfortunately had to have both legs amputated above the knee. Mr. Sanchez's trespass charge was later dismissed by the district court. Sometime after the incident, Mr. Sanchez started legal proceedings with his lawyer. The lawsuit accuses Officer Thacker of excessive force and intentional battery, Officer Gaddis of false arrest and malicious prosecution, and the city of negligent supervision and training, among other charges. The plaintiffs demanded a jury trial. The St. Petersburg Police Department denies the allegations and has confidence in the judicial process, police said in a statement. In addition, the two police officers have not been penalized or subjected to a review process and continue to perform their duties without any problems. Currently, Mr. Sanchez remains bedridden and resides in a nursing home. On November 12, 2023, in Okaloosa County, Florida, deputies responded to calls about disruptive behavior and a reported grand theft auto involving 22-year-old Marquis Jackson. The initial call described a vehicle honking its horn since 3 a.m., causing a disturbance. Another call came from a woman claiming Jackson, her boyfriend, had stolen her vehicle and was making threats. She provided text messages showing what appeared to be a firearm suppressor inside her vehicle. Deputies detained Jackson, searched him, and placed him in a patrol vehicle while investigating. The victim mentioned Jackson had a silencer and multiple weapons. The interaction was captured on officer's body cam. My car back. I've been no, asking all night, can I get my car back? Like, I don't care about the argument. I don't care about, I don't even know what the argument is about. I just want my car. Mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with anything. I know any time we get into it, whether I'm right or wrong, I, he puts his hands on me or he threatens to put his hands on me. It gets very violent. There he is. In your car or walking up? He's walking. Pat him down, please. What's that? Pat him down. Well, I'm getting patted down for it. Do you have any weapons on you? No. Okay. Well, I'm getting patted down for it. Because you're getting patted down. Why? Do you have any weapons on you? No, I don't have no weapons okay. on me. What's out like that? This is key. Don't got no weapons on me. Hands on your pockets. Where is it? 1656 Hunt Club, over here off MLK. Heather Glenn. Yeah. Is that the other place? That's those apartments. Like, on that one road where the um, two gases, gas, he must have walked. How far is that? Mm -hmm. I mean, walking, about two, three miles. Walking is a mm -hmm. little minute, but driving is not too far. I'm pulling out of the Okay. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! 
I'm, I'm good. I feel weird, but I'm good. Deputy Hernandez was approaching the passenger side rear door of his patrol car to do a secondary search of Jackson when he heard a pop sound which he perceived to be a gunshot and believed he had been hit. He began yelling, shots fired multiple times, falling to the ground and rolling. He fired into the patrol car. After witnessing Deputy Hernandez's response and reaction, the Sergeant Beth Roberts responded with gunshots towards the car as well in response to the perceived threat. I'm good, I'm good. I might have hit my vest. Mr. Jackson was not physically injured by any of the 22 shots. The incident involving Deputy Hernandez and Sergeant Roberts highlights issues of police response and use of force, leading to significant psychological impact on Jackson, who was in the car at the time. Hernandez resigned during the investigation, which revealed concerning details about his handling of the situation. The investigation found that Hernandez reacted dramatically to a sound, later identified as an acorn hitting the car, by falling, shouting, shots fired, and firing into the car, even though no actual threat existed. His partner's actions were also questioned, but ultimately deemed justified. Sheriff Aiden defended Hernandez, stating he genuinely felt his life was in danger. However, the incident deeply affected Jackson, who described feeling terrified and damaged for life due to the gunfire and shattered windows. The department's response is limited due to pending litigation, highlighting ongoing legal complexities surrounding the case. In addition, Mr. Jackson and his lawyer started the legal process a few days ago. On April 18th, 2023, a man named Ryan Theodore was walking in his neighborhood a few blocks from his home when he was pulled over by Sheriff Owens of the Kent, New York Police Department in an unmarked car and questioned without identifying himself as a police officer. As other units surrounded them, Mr. Theodore began recording the encounter. Kent Police Department. Hey, what's going on? Um, I live over at uh, Seddon Road. Um, mm -hmm. I, I just saw somebody ring my doorbell. Um, I, you know, I usually have no problem with people like soliciting around, but dude was like looking up and down my house. He stood there for a little while. He was writing stuff down, and then I saw him on the Google camera going to my driveway, and it looked like he was looking for my truck. Um, I don't know if you want to just send somebody over there to see what this guy's doing over there. He's not on my, at my property anymore, but I can describe him to you. Sure. What's it? Do you can you tell me what direction he was going in? Yeah, he went down Livingston towards um, towards Putnam Drive. That's the last I saw him. Okay. I'm, Are you I'm, at home I'm now? NY, I'm, no, no, no. I'm at work. I'm, I'm NYPD. Okay, so and your name, I'm, your first and last name, sir? Sure, it's Stephen. And you saw this person on your on your ring doorbell. Um, can you describe him to me? Yeah, he's wearing like gray pants. It looks like a uh, tan, like Carhartt type hoodie. It's a uh, male white. Male white, okay. All right. Um, gray pants, tan hoodie, male white. Uh, okay, and about how long ago did this happen? 
uh, about five minutes ago. Five minutes in the past. Okay, so, and he was ju just looking at, looking at the house, and um, then he left and is now headed down Livingston towards Putnam. Yeah, it just struck me as strange. Like usually people ring and then they just go away, but yeah. so there for a little while, and then he wrote some, something down, and then I saw him going to my driveway, and it looked like he was looking at my truck, and then yeah. I, I couldn't see him anymore. So. Yeah, we do have people in the area. Um, it's called uh, home remodeling, and you know they're trying to sell you windows and doors, et cetera. But you know, I'll uh, send yeah, somebody I, up. I know them. I yeah. know them, but his hoodie his wasn't marked or anything. Just oh, okay, no there. markings. Okay, I'll let yeah. the officer know. We'll get somebody up there see if we can locate him. Uh, no, thank you. Yes. No, thank you. Are you detaining me, sir? Yes, I am. Stop. For what crime? Stop. What is your reasonable, turn articulable? Around. Do not touch turn me, around. sir. Turn around. For what have I done? I'm detaining you. Turn around. For what suspicion? What is your reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime? We have multiple calls about you. Detaining a person is not equivalent to arresting them. If the suspect does not pose a danger to the public, handcuffing him, her, makes no sense and is merely a show of force. In this case, Mr. Theodore did not physically resist the police officer, and handcuffing him was an act of escalation. What is your RAF? Yes. This is unbelievable. What is your RAF? <laughs> it's funny? My freedom is yeah. funny to you? Yeah, no, it is. It's hilarious. I just asked you to stop. Do that. Yeah, yes, you, you are. are when criminality is afoot and we do have what a complaint. What is your reasonable your articulable suspicion? We, we don't have to give all that to you. What We're is looking probable for your probable cause? Name. I have plenty of it. You do? I do. I've never seen you before. Well, good. Nice to meet you. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it is, This right? is happening in America? Yes, it I is. I just saw that. You shouldn't be looking through people's windows. We shot a man in their home at the wrong address and then this is the follow-up in this country? Let's talk for a second. No, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. I want to be released right. and free. Oh, this is unbelievable. We'll bring him down for... Just stand with this officer for a second. We're going to talk. I don't want to. Okay. Well, that's what's going to happen. We're just going to talk for a second. This is, this is insane. There it is. Is anybody available to film this? No, you're being filmed right now. No, I want a private... Are you seriously... Yeah, what is your reasonable seat. suspicion? Have a seat. This is incredible that this is happening in America. Yep. I'm a free man. I've done no wrong. Well, now you're detained. That's fine. What were you doing in people's yards looking in their windows? What are you talking about? I know you have exactly evidence of this? Talking about. Absolutely. Where, and may I see it? Yeah, multiple times. I want an attorney present it. for any questioning. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. That's your right. Yeah, he At this point in the video, the body camera sound was muted by the officer. It is difficult to know what they were talking about, but it can be assumed that they were responding to a tip-off. At the beginning of the clip, Mr. Theodore's outfit is not even close to the outfit of the person who was reported. So the cops detained the wrong person, even though they had a full description. Just, can you just roll down the window? Yeah. I gotta go from the other side. Yeah. All right, man. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I know. I'm, I'm going to tell you, explain to you. What, you don't have to talk to me. I'm just going to explain to you why you're in the back of a car right now. Okay. We got a call from a bunch, several people saying that there's somebody entering properties, knocking on doors, poking in windows, poking in windows, and they match. You match their description, so that's why you're you are where you are. Huh? Yeah, ring doorbell camera. Oh, okay. So that's like that's what. It, that's fine, and we will, and we're confirming that you're only being detained yeah. right now. Okay, you're not under arrest. What do you mean I'm not under arrest? You're not under arrest. We're just trying to explain to you what's going on. The crime is what you say. Yeah, you're not charged, charged with a crime, but you're not. You're not under you're arrest. Not, you don't know what the word arrest means. Okay, well you're being arrest detained right subdue. now. Okay. Detainment would mean the whole. Okay, but I'm not here to this argue with you. Can we just explain this? You can do whatever you want. We're just trying to tell you what's going on. Okay, you're not being charged with a crime. Exactly, but I am still under arrest. You put me in handcuffs and if you that's your definition of it right now, at this point we're just talking. We're explaining you our circumstances. Oh, you've done more than talk, sir. Okay, very fine. I don't care what you say. I'm just explaining to you what's going on right now. 
You're confirming if you match the description of that person right now. Okay. If you don't, and you there's nothing wrong, you're going to be released. Beforehand. Okay. I wasn't here for that. I'm just telling you what we're here you to do. You cannot do this to somebody. You have to have the evidence first Sir. before you can detain somebody. I didn't put handcuffs on you, did I? Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Somebody did. Of course. And now you're being detained. And that's no, it. No, I'm under arrest. Okay. I have not right. thrown we, 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 we try to tell you what's going on, okay? We just so, wanted to let you know what's did. going on. All right. But you didn't tell me why okay. my license was violated. At this point, the sound is turned off again, but it seems from the footage that they are trying to figure out how the person they have caught is unrelated to the person in the report. The cops probably decided to do the confirmation process that they should have done in the first place after unjustly handcuffing a person, and this shows a lack of training. What did he say to you guys when you were talking? Yeah, basically just the, uh, you know, if you can't arrest me, then you're not that stuff. Just being difficult. Before you ask him if he knows this guy. Yeah. All right, man. Here's the deal. Oh, there's no deal. I don't have any agreements to make with you. No, no, it's fine. We're looking for a guy. There's another guy going around. That looks like me. Sweatshirt. Well, we you have to find sweatshirt. that out beforehand. Before you can, you don't have reasonable articulable suspicion. Well, you we broke the law. No, you no, are the criminal no, in this no, instance. No, no. So we had two yes, separate you are. incidents. You are, are you violating with under color else? of law. Okay. I do not answer questions. Okay. I already said I wanted an attorney present for any questioning. Okay, we're not questioning you. are again you. violating my rights. You, what do you mean? You just ask me a question. Okay, hop on out, buddy. Is that an order? No, I'm just you want a certain car up there. Here's your water. The phone's sitting on the hood of my car right there. You can grab it. Yeah, put you back up. I don't want to. No, I don't want anything good. to happen here. No, you're good. You're not going to hurt you. Yeah, you do. I do. You seem oh, like you do. I wanted something to happen. Yeah, you seem like you do. Funny, right? You're funny. All right, Steve. You got everything? Yeah, it works. No, I'm not done here. What is your name and badge number, sir? It's right here. What is, yeah, that's what you tell the judge? Honest. What is your name? Can you articulate it? Can you articulate it, please? Can you articulate it? Chief Owens from the town of Kent Police Chief Owens. Okay? My officers all have what? their names right what on their What is your thing. badge number? Articulate it, please. It says right there. It? Articulate it, please. Yeah, articulate it, please. I'm not articulating it. What is your badge head. number, sir? One. Number wow, one. Wow, you have disdain for the public? No, I have disdain What is your you name and badge number, sir? Detective Beauchene, 205. Thank you very, sir, for your professionalism. Have a great sir. day. Sir! Yes, sir. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Jason Epp, Detective 35. Thank you very much. Ready? Yeah. Look what they did to my wrist. The police officers literally left the scene without even apologizing. Mr. Theodore announced that he had filed a formal complaint against the officers. On July 18, 2023, Corporal Hughes of the Mount Dora Police Department responded to reports of off-duty Groveland police officer Joshua Smurs allegedly assaulting his wife at a Mount Dora bar. Hughes, along with Officer Sanchez and Alador, then went to Smurs's residence, where they handcuffed him and took him into custody. The entire incident was captured on a body camera. Can you just stay with him? I got a call through. No, I'm, I'm going nowhere. I'm not getting any um, problems. Nothing. It's not happening. <laughs> hey, she's okay other than that? What happened in progress? She's fine? Yeah. Okay. Can we please put these guys in front? On oh, what? I'm in front. You know the drill, man. I it's do. I do. Listen, I, I got you. This is, it's not my call. I know. I know. That, it's that, my supervisor. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I got you. I got you. And I just stand. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not going to fight Listen, you. I'm not going to fight you. Like, there's nothing. Please. <sighs> Please put these in front of me. Please. I'm begging you. Okay. Just give me a second. Let's just hand tie it. Once the supervisor figured out what we're going to do, then we'll go from there. I got you. All right. Okay. That's good. This is all 100% misunderstanding. Oh, yes. Hey, grab it. By her head. How long you work for Groveland? Uh, October will be six years. Six years? Yes. Have a seat there. 
Just no. have a seat for a second, though. Absolutely, yes, sir. Um, your camera's on, right? Because mine's dead. Yep. Okay. Just, just have him talk about what happened. Okay. Just ask. He's already told me about my camera's. Huh. Was your body? Hey, was your dad on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then I gotta stop him. But do it again. Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to him. All right. He's gonna talk to her, but I need to know exactly what what you already told him. So, elaborate. We got. Tell me argument. exactly what happened. Wait. Look. I, I walked outside onto the patio. If it's comfortable for you, you can get out now. I'm just. I I was on the uh I was inside. Okay. I walked outside and I asked where one of our friends' wives was and. Oh, um, and she got some guy sh with me, so I got okay. her hair, and I was like, "Are you, are you kidding me right now?" Like she was. I took it as an accusation I was doing something wrong. Okay. With my friend's wife. So she's like, "What?" I was like, "Yeah, no," and then I grabbed her hair, and that was that. Like, okay. and then we were good, and then people came out, started. And I was like, get the f away from us, I will f you up, and we left and came home, and okay. everything's fine. All right. Like that, I mean, that's the legit story. Officer Summers explained what happened with his wife, but denied certain actions shown in security footage. Misdemeanor battery involves intentionally touching or harming someone, while felony battery requires causing significant harm. Domestic battery by strangulation involves impeding breathing or circulation, but proving this can be challenging without clear evidence of harm. There's probable cause for domestic battery by strangulation based on witness accounts and minor injuries, but proving sufficient force for conviction may be difficult. Were your friends there too, or they were, they were not there, it was just the two of you guys? My friends were there. One of them happened to be inside. I didn't know where the other one was. Okay. That's who I was asking about. Okay. So, that was it. How long have you guys been married? 10 years and... What's the day? 18. 27. Nine days. It'll be 10 years. Been together with her for... 15. Did somebody call you? About the incident? And that's what you call our supervisor? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're trying to figure out if we didn't want to disclose any type of information yet. Well, we were. I... An honest guy, it was all a misunderstanding. Right? And that's 100%. <clears throat> Would never, ever put her in jeopardy. When he has on her, period, end of story. Josh, we're I'm getting gonna, the car. I'm going to beg y'all nicely. Josh, please. Out the door. He's getting in the car. Get in the car, Josh. Get in the car. Please put these in front of me. I'm going to have a panic Take attack. Please, guys, I'm not going to fight Take you. You know that. You know I'm not going to fight you. We're not. I'm not. Home, man. We're not Stick putting them in the I know your policy is behind the back. If you weren't drunk, please. I might, but you're drunk, Josh. Get in the back. Yeah. Sir, yeah. I can assure you Josh, I'm not. Come on. Please don't do that. Hey, come on. Please don't push me. Come on. Come on. Get in the car, man. Josh, okay. come on. Please, please, please. I'm begging you nicely. Come on, man. Please, God. Josh, Josh, it's our policy. We're not going to change it. So go ahead. I guess, I guess you're going to get. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm. I'm not resisting. Please, 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 please put this. I please you, put them in. I promise you, there's plenty of room. Those are very loose. Just, I'm begging you nicely. Oh, put them in front of me. Get him in the please. Josh, get in the car. Come on. You're about to get more charges. Come on. Hey. Sit down. Oh my God. Right. Tom, take a breath. Take a breath. Josh, take a breath. I can't. I can't. Officer Summers refuses to comply with orders to get into the cruiser, citing claustrophobia and requesting different handcuffing. Resisting an officer without violence involves obstructing an officer's lawful duty without violence. Courts have ruled that such resistance includes refusing to obey a lawful order from a police officer. Therefore, Summers's repeated refusal to enter the vehicle could be seen as probable cause for resisting without violence. And he just latched down on me. I'm begging you. 
I'm not going to fight you. I'm no. I will go. Fix I will this, go fix without... This, fix this handcuffs. We'll do two. Can we do two handcuffs? It'll be better. No, but just please. Oh, I'm going to put them I'm up not, on I'm not kidding. We'll give you two cuffs, okay? As long as you're cool, we're going to do double cuffs, but we're not putting them in front of you. Bro. Please put them in front. Please, I'm good to go. I, I, will, I will ride. I'll also go undo the cuff. There you go. Please. Behind me is not going to work. Even if there's two, there's not two, they're not even going to be pulled behind you, Josh. We cannot do. The officer informs Officer Summers that they cannot use front handcuffing, as it is standard procedure to secure handcuffs behind an arrestee's back for safety and control. Courts have upheld this practice, even when individuals request front cuffing due to medical conditions like claustrophobia. Precedent shows that denying front cuffing does not constitute excessive force as long as it does not result in harm and follows standard restraint protocols. Therefore, it's likely that a court would find the officers did not violate the Constitution by refusing front handcuffing to Officer Summers. They're barely going to even be behind you. Make sure they double lock. They're definitely behind Here. me. Here. You're almost able to sit them beside you. I'm begging. We've been more than nice to you, Josh. I've been more than respectful to you as well, Hughes. All right, well then just have a seat, okay? Just take a breath. <sighs> that should be better. Your arms aren't it's behind not, you anymore. It's not, oh my God. We'll roll the window down for you, okay? Okay, do me a favor. Check that left arm. God damn. Give me the f***ing and let me do it, Elsewhere. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. Like, I, put them in front, I'm good. It's because you got this, this wristband, man. I, but that's pretty loose now, all right? That's, come on. All right, have a seat. Yeah. I'll drive. Officer Summers was taken to Lake County Jail and later released on a $2,000 bond. Initially facing a felony for domestic battery by strangulation, his charge was reduced to misdemeanor battery. On February 5th, 2024, he entered a pretrial intervention program, allowing first or second time offenders to avoid conviction. The Groveland Police Department placed him on paid leave, emphasizing their serious approach to such charges and ongoing internal and criminal investigations. No public announcement has been made about the investigation results yet. On July 3, 2023, a man named Sean Bresnian repaired his car in front of his house and then drove to the end of the street to test it. When he turned around, police officers quickly pulled him over and the encounter was captured on the body camera of officers from the Greenbrier Police Department. I'm good. The reason I stopped you is your tags. Yeah, I gotta get them yeah. uh, took care of. I just got it running last night. Okay. It's uh, been sitting parked for. Hey, I'm gonna be at Walmart for a minute. I got you. You got your driver's license with you? I don't. I don't have it on me. Can okay. you? Do you have a driver's license? I do. Okay. What's your name? Sean Bresnan. All right. You wanna step back here with me? Let me get your name and stuff. See what's going on with it. What's been going on with it? CD two seven hundred status. Oh, I got you. Eight. Eight your wires. I've got eyes on him. He's wrapping it up right now. He seems to be ten four. Ten four. Thank you. Eight 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 B-R-E-S-N-A-H-A-N. -E you What's your date of birth, Sean? 922 3 9 83 83. I thought you said 03, and I was like, I don't think so. If I was born 03, I'm not doing too good. <laughs> I understand that. Hold on just a second. Oh, you got insurance on the vehicle? Uh, okay, I'll see if I can see it on here. Okay, bro. All right, Sean, put your phone down. Okay, I'm going to detain you for a minute, okay? Can I get all this figured out? Do what? Can you check right here tomorrow? Yeah, you're driving on suspended. Um, okay. That's why I was wanting to get in my truck. I got paperwork to show you. It's not okay. suspended. We'll get to it. Okay? I mean, is there a particular reason you're putting me in handcuffs? I'm going to detain you for a minute until I get it all figured out because you're moving around. You're wanting to go in. I'll you're just, wanting to get in the truck. You asked me to okay. sit down, I sat down. Well, actually, you asked me to come back out here. I came back out here and said I hadn't moved since. Perfect. I'll, I'm going to detain you while I look through my computer. If you have any work to do, you'll be happy to work with me. Shelby, will you hush, please? 
Hey, Shelby. Hush. Hey, little baby. You might want to calm her down a little bit. What are you going to do with her? Go ahead. Over there and pet her. No, that's fine. You go ahead and send me another unit over here. Okay. 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 10 4 okay. 802 or 803. It's okay. You mind coming over and let her sleep her hand or something? No, I don't have a problem with it. I just wanted to get on, to baby. see you're okay that way. You're okay, buddy. Hey, hey. No, ma'am. It's okay. No, ma'am. It's okay. No, ma it's okay. okay. He's nice. It's, it's okay. okay. He's okay. He's okay. It's all right. He's developed this habit the last okay. few months and he's trying to get it out of her. I've been <laughs> up north taking care of my family's estate. Right. My wife isn't exactly the best at working with working with the dog. Oh, I get you. <laughs> sometimes you ain't got time. Yeah, and sometimes she yeah. doesn't have the inclination. So. Takes different different people to deal with different dogs, something? okay? So, hey, you hush. You're harmless. <laughs> you okay? You gonna be okay if I go back over and sit down? Shelby! Yeah, bye. Hey. Alright, let's move over here, Sean. Let's move over here. You think the reason why? I'm, I'm asking you to move over here. And I understand that, I'm asking you to take the reason why. I'm gonna detain you while I do my paperwork and I figure out what's going on with your license and all that. I'm not going anywhere, you got my vehicle blocked in. I don't have any vehicles blocked in. Yeah. Well, he's out on me right now, so must be. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm asking you again, Sean, to get up. I'm going to detain you for a minute, let you come over here where I can talk to you while I'm trying to do your thing. We're talking just fine right now. I don't see the... Are you arresting me or are you detaining me? Detaining you at this point. Okay, well, I'm being detained. I can do so without being in handcuffs. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put you in handcuffs and I'm going to detain you. Is there a okay. particular reason why I'm not being Yes. Combative? I'm just trying to understand. I'm not being combative. I'm not... I'm no, I know you're not. I'm not. I'm asking you to comply with my orders. Okay? Um, and that's, you're giving me an lawful order? Yes. Okay. I'm giving you a lawful order to stand up, and I'm going to detain you for a minute okay. until we figure out what's going on. I'm going to put them in front of you. Okay. Okay? While we look at the stuff. You've been over here. You've been in front of your car trying to open the hood. I had You're moving hood. all over the place. I need to focus on what's going on here to decide whether you stay here or whether you go with me. If you don't allow me to do that, then we're going to stand here and talk. Okay? I'm not so trying to be just, difficult. I just, I'm kind of opposed I'm, to being put in handcuffs like I've done something wrong. You've not done anything wrong. I'm detaining you to keep you over here where I can keep an eye on you. I'll give you my word. I'll okay. stay right here. But I don't want to be put in handcuffs if at all possible. Not I'm sure you can a understand. Quiet time yet. Um, I, I can understand to a certain point, that you can do about but right now you're interfering with my operation and my investigation here because you won't comply with what yeah, I'm asking right. you to do. I'm trying to comply, but I don't yeah. feel the need to be put in handcuffs. That's being put under arrest. No, it's not. It's being detained, and that's what I told you. Okay. Uh, that's detained as an arrest. No, it's not. Mr. Shaw knew his driver's license would show as suspended in the officer's computer, so he tried to go into his home to get proof from his truck that his license wasn't suspended, backed by court documentation. The officer, however, wouldn't let him go inside, citing the ongoing traffic stop. While Mr. Shaw was in his yard, the initial infraction occurred on a public road, so the officer considered it part of the traffic stop. Despite Mr. Sean's attempts to show his valid documentation, the officer focused on detaining him further, even though handcuffs weren't necessary for a detainment. This prolonged detention without probable cause could be seen as a de facto arrest, as it exceeded the typical duration allowed for a traffic stop without additional cause. Apprehension is arrest. Not being able to leave your own free will is arrest. You're being detained until I finish my investigation. That doesn't mean you're under arrest. If at any point in time you become where you're under arrest, I will advise you that you're under arrest. Okay. Well, right now you're being detained. Okay, and I'm being as willing as I can with you. I'm not trying to be combative. I'm not trying to 
Bucky or Three or anything like that. I'm Great. just simply, I don't see why I should be handcuffed on my own property. I haven't broken the law. You yeah, have broken the law. What broke the law have I broken? Driving on suspended. I have the paperwork to show otherwise. Okay, well, it's not showing that in my truck. I understand that. I have paperwork from the court that shows otherwise. Do you have it on your person? No, sir. It's in my truck. Was it in the car that you were driving? No, sir. It's in my truck. Okay. So, no different than you being on the highway. You okay, wouldn't, well, have, it, mean, you it wouldn't have it with you. That Correct? may be true. That may be true. But it is different because it's here. I'm here. I have it on me. No, you don't have it on you. If it's on this property, I would assume it was in my access. That's what the problem is, you're assuming. Okay, well, I know for a fact I have the paperwork. It's 25 feet away from me. I can show you that real quick, quick and clear this all up. Okay. We might get to that point whenever you decide to comply. I'm not trying to not comply, but I was on my own property when you pulled up behind me. Mm -hmm. And now you're wanting to put me in handcuffs. You were driving down the highway, driving on suspended. I have the paperwork to show my license is not suspended. It was suspended in error. Suspended in error? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll get to that point. But I can't get to that point standing here arguing with you. I mean, we can get to that point very easily. I could walk over to my truck and unlock it and give you the paperwork. We will when I complete my investigation. Okay. I'm, I'm going by this paperwork, what I have to deal with. Okay, okay, I understand. And then, if I can look at that, then we'll look at yours. But you haven't complied with me yet. You asked me not to move around. I sat down. I had to move since, aside from the calm the dog down, which I asked you. Mm -hmm. I've been complying this whole time, but I do not see it and being necessary to be put in handcuffs. And I asked you I was going to detain you, and you've chose not to. I'm, so now you're interfering with governmental operations. I'm uh, not interfering with any operation. Absolutely you are. Sir, or I would have already be done. If that was the case, then you could have done it with me sitting here, no problem. You got one of two ways, brother. You can go to jail, or you can be detained for a few minutes. Let me figure it out. Okay. If you need to detain me, that's what Which, you need to do. Okay. I mean, that's the two options you got. Okay. You want to be detained for just a few minutes and come over here and let me deal with this, and we can figure it out? Why do I need to come over there? I'm not trying so to... So that I can ask you questions at the same time. I can't ask you questions walking up and down the Yes, sir. I understand. That's why I sat stuff. down. That way you could ask me questions. Right. I'm not going to yell from my truck over here because you're sitting at your house. I'm going to detain you, and I'm going to put you over here where I can talk to you. Okay. Okay. Window's going to be down. You're going to be standing up. Okay. Okay. Is that cool with you? Okay. Is it all right if I just walk over there in my own free will? We're going to put the handcuffs on you because you're being detained. I don't know why you're making it so difficult. Every time we detain somebody, man, we got to put cuffs on. Just because you put cuffs on don't mean you're going to jail. It just means you're being detained. Well, no, it, I understand. And if I were being combative or trying to resist or run or fight or something matter. else. It's, it's policy, man. It's just a safety deal. We deal with everything. So every person that you pull over. Listen. You put, hold on, I'm asking a question. I was speaking to uh, Captain. Fish showing suspended license, yes. Okay. As I was telling. Well, if we have some reason for this investigation, we detain while we investigate. Okay, well, what's the reason for the rest of the investigation? Ah, you. You're driving on suspended. And I just told you I have the paperwork to prove otherwise, so that could be we solved. We haven't quickly. made it to that point yet. Well, we could very quickly. No, we can't, because you won't comply. Because I'm trying to avoid being put in handcuffs for no reason? You've got two options. I'm going to detain you until I get done on my computer. I'm trying to figure out the information. Or you're going to go to jail for interfering with governmental operations. One of the two. Which one do you want to do? I'm not interfering with any government operation. I fully believe I'm not. Okay. You can believe what you want to. 802 you want do you want to be detained for a minute? Let us get it straightened up. Or you want to go to jail? I want to be on my way. Actually, not on my way. I want to be about my business. Well, you're sure not acting like it. Uh, that's exactly what I'm acting like. I apologize if it doesn't. If it seems otherwise. Okay. Two options. What do you want? I'll be happy I'm to walk you over your truck with you and answer any questions you have. Okay, and I'm going to detain you in handcuffs. Okay, well, that's... Great. Okay. Let me lock them so they don't tie them up on
All right. Can you please step over here to the passenger side of my? Yes, sir. Set your phone down. I might need to put some for a question you have or something. Set your phone down. Can you just go to the passenger side window and I'll roll it down? Let me look at your stuff right quick. Only reason you can't come to my driver's side is because I can't let you look at this stuff, but it's showing me that you're driving on suspended. Why can't I look at this stuff? Okay. Because this is just for law enforcement only. If you see information on me, I should have access to it. I ain't arguing with you about I'm stupid not, I'm crap. Just making conversation. It's ACIC. Oh. It's it's law enforcement only. Are you law enforcement? I apologize. Okay, I'm it's just, not for you to see. I apologize. Just I was just explaining why I let you come over there and not over okay. here. And I, I was just seeking more clarification. I apologize. I fully, I mean, I fully trust you to stand right here, but the only reason I can't is because of this. Would it be okay if I smoke a cigarette? No, no, not right now. No, sir. Do you, do you need to go inside, ma'am? No. Okay, you got your driver's license with you? You got your driver's license with you? What? You want to include yourself in my investigation, so I need your ID you. I need your driver's license. She just said she didn't want to go inside, so she's involving herself here. Okay. I'm not arguing. Need your driver's license. This is my house. I understand. And I wasn't doing anything. Is... You didn't pull me over. <coughs> Ma'am, this is my traffic stop. You want to involve yourself with the person that I'm talking to. And I asked you if you need to go in the house, and you said, no, you're going to stay outside. So you're involving yourself in my investigation, so I need to identify who I'm you are. I'm not involving myself in your investigation. Okay, then have your way inside. You can't tell me I have to go in. Then ID yourself. One this of the is my one house. of the two. One of the two. This is my house, my property. I can stand on my property. You're correct. Without you're, you harassing me. I'm not harassing you. You're but involving you in my traffic stop. Because I Did you not in. talk to him? Did you talk to this gentleman right here? Yes, he asked me for a cigarette. Okay then. You're wife. involving yourself. That's my husband. This is my property. Okay. All you do gotta do is identify yourself. I, it but I don't have to. You can't force me. To do anything on my property. Okay, you did not pull I'm out. sorry. I'm sorry. You know my job better than me. So you tell me what I need to do. I'll step off of my property. I'm not yeah, asking you to go, go anywhere. Jerry. Go get Jerry, whoever Jerry is. Then he will be identified as well. If you're going to include yourself in my traffic stop, I didn't include myself in your are you talking to the person I've got in handcuffs? Then you included yourself. I do not know who he is. I do not know your relationship. Okay? Do you want to include yourself or do you not? Officer Woody knows who we are. Officer Woody does know. That's fine. He did not make the traffic stop. I did. Okay? Okay, but you. Would you like to go? Me on my property. What am I harassing you about? Trying to say I have to give you my driver's license. You did not pull me over. I'm not in trouble for anything, so I do not have to give you my license. You are correct. You're not in trouble for anything just yet. But if you just keep interfere, if you keep interfering with my investigation, you're going to go to jail. I didn't interfere with anything. Okay, then identify I yourself or go in the house. One of the two. A11 PD. Go ahead. Can you go ahead and contact JT for me, please? 10-4. Yes, sir. For what? Driving on suspended, no insurance, no registration. My car's on private property. You can't tell it. It wasn't when I seen the violation, sir. Well, it was when you initiated. You came to initiate the stop. I was already stopped. I'm private property. You have no authority to tell my car. Talk to the judge. No. Okay, hold on a second. Before, show me the law that says you can tow my car right now. Okay, here. I'm not arguing with you. Here, I'm going to explain your citations to you. Unless you want to go to jail and bond on them. I don't, but okay, I don't then. want my car towed either. That's, okay. that's still well, on my property. I don't want you driving on the I'm not going to drive it. I have another vehicle I can drive. But I apparently have driving suspended license or something, so I'm not going to drive anyway. Okay. But you're not taking my property from my property. Okay. If we were out on the street, you would have the absolute right to tow it. I've been through that. Not from private property, sir. 
Under Arkansas state law, driving on a canceled or suspended license is classified as a misdemeanor offense. If the officer genuinely believed, apart from Mr. Sean's paperwork, that his license was suspended, he would have arrested him. However, since the officer saw the valid paperwork proving otherwise, he couldn't make an arrest. Instead, he moved to impound Mr. Sean's vehicle. Okay, you're driving it on city street, which is violation when you're driving on suspended, and I'm taking the vehicle to get no insurance. I just sat there and watched you drive up Wilson Farm. You drove all the way around Tyler. You come right down through here on Linder. I'm taking the car. You have no insurance, no driver's license, and you won't register your vehicle, okay? I have no issues with registering my vehicle. I have tags, as you see. I just haven't updated them. Okay. Apparently, you don't understand what we can see because you do have a problem with driving on suspended, and you do have a problem with registering your vehicle. And I do have it all cleared up. Because you've excited it very many times, okay? And I've gotten them all dismissed, as I've shown you. Okay. I don't know if you got them dismissed or not. I, the paperwork right there shows it. Okay. I got your paperwork. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, right there. I'm still showing that you like a $100 reinstatement fee. That was taken out of my taxes, and that one says that the okay. reinstatement fee is waived if you look at it. That's fine. I can't, this is not what I go by, sir. I don't go by your paperwork that you pull out of your truck that's sitting in your yard. That's paperwork I apologize. Your court with the seal. Okay. I don't care what it is. That's not what I can go by today. Okay. I'm going by my system that I look at, and also our dispatcher looked at it as well to make sure I wasn't missing something. Mm -hmm. I double checked it. It's still suspended. You still owe $100 to Mountain Home. You need to get that cleared up with them. Until then, your driver's license will be suspended. Okay. You were decided about a week and a half ago for it. Did you argue with them as well? Yes, sir, I did. I'm Same glad question. I ain't the only damn one. Well, All I, I mean, when I'm being accused of something that I've already taken care of, I, have I can't. Of. I can't help it. I didn't. I didn't suspend your driver's license. You're right. Okay? I understand that. And All I can do is do my job. Okay. I do my job with my tools. Okay. I don't have any choice. That's what I'm provided. <laughs> And now you're more than welcome to bring this to court on the court date. And if they decide that it's not suspended, I'm more than happy for them to, to take care of it or do whatever they can do for you and help you. I don't have a problem with that. But today it tells me it's suspended. Okay, well, if it's not suspended, okay. who's going to pay for my car being impounded when it's already Nobody. on private property? Nobody. You so, will. Because so you I... have no insurance and you won't register the vehicle. Driving on suspended is not the only problem. you got three problems. And you won't learn your lesson because you've been cited a number of times. That has nothing to do with learning a lesson, sir. <laughs> I wasn't okay. driving that car. Okay. And okay. I but you're still driving on suspended. Which has been dismissed numerous times. Then shouldn't be a problem for you to get it dismissed again. You're correct. Okay. Sound good? Where do you want me to put this? Uh, get to my wife this. Okay. No. I'll let you hold it, because I don't know that this is your wife. She won't identify herself. I can guarantee it's my wife, and Officer Woody can get to you as well. Okay, well, I'm not Officer Woody. I understand, okay? but he is your colleague. That's fine. It does not matter. I made the stop. I'm trying to cooperate with you guys, but nobody wants to cooperate. You started arguing as soon as you got out of the car. Okay. Do you want to go over this? Do you want me to go over it, or do you just want to have it? We can go over it. Okay. So I cited you for owner failed to register your vehicle for your tags. You're driving on suspended and no liability insurance, okay? Court date is August 9th, 1.30 p.m. if you choose to come to that, okay? If you have any questions about the citation, the number's on the back. Contact them anytime, and they'll be able to answer any questions you have. Mm -hmm. If you want to take that paperwork to them, they'll be the people to show that to. Mm -hmm. They can look up that kind of stuff. I can't, okay? They've got other means of looking up whether your suspension's been released or not. I can't see that, okay? okay. So you can take that to City Hall or you can call them and ask them if you can bring it up there. All right. And they'll let the ladies look at it. And I'll work with you, man. Even as argumentative as you've been, if it's fixed, it's fixed. 103, Travis. And we'll make it right. Okay? All right. 103, go ahead. I guess that's fair. Okay. Any other questions? 103, 107, you just threw a bag in the back seat. Be out with Wisconsin okay, 2204 Edward 22. William Henry 2204 Edward. Said, get a hold of Clinton. Be back sure here. What you don't. Be over here, Franklin T. Booger. Get picked up on that deal somewhere. Yeah, okay. I'll give them a call tomorrow. Find out what's going on with that. There ain't no reason to 
get in trouble with somebody else and you can call them and yeah. maybe get on a payment plan or something. I, it shouldn't be anything at all. I didn't even know it existed, so. Right. Well, I don't know either. <clears throat> Okay, here's your citation, and we're going to stand by and inventory the vehicle waiting on a tow truck, okay? Uh, well, you're not detaining the record? You're not detaining the record. Okay. Uh, the only reason you could search my vehicle to inventory? Inventory does. Is if y'all were sure. taking possession of it. The tow company is supposed to take possession of it, and it's on my private property. Yeah. I, I don't authorize y'all to search my vehicle. And you I don't, don't have to. search my property. You don't have to. Uh, actually, you do have to have my consent to search. No, I don't. I'm yes, towing do. the vehicle and I have to inventory it. Okay. Well, you're towing. You're not telling me. Have... You're not telling me how to do my job, Sean. So Either you... shut up or go in the house or go to jail. Excuse me, sir. Okay. You've got a couple options. You can go in the house or you can go to jail. You've been interfering with me the whole time I've been here, and I have not arrested you yet for interfering with governmental operations. But you're really close. Can you stand here and keep your mouth shut and let me do my job? Stop interfering with me. I'm asking you this last time. I'll step over here. I'll I'm apologize. asking you this last time. I apologize. I'll step over here. Thank you. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Is your name and badge on that ticket because I would like it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll provide mine. 811, PD. Last plate check, please. Can I ask why you're looking at my vehicle? Go ahead, sir. Zero four three zebra nor zebra. Zero four three zebra nor zebra. Zero four three zebra nor zebra returns to a two thousand four G. White and color should expire October 2023 to a Lacey for Shannon out of Green Briar and Church Justin from 10 4. When you're not busy, can you QNF the RO, please? 10 4. You need my card? Yeah, that'd be great. I'll swap with you. Okay. That's what I figured. You just want to be hard to deal with. No, you didn't have a reason to run my card. I did nothing wrong. You don't have me on a traffic stop. You are correct. But you can go to jail for interfering with my investigation. I'm not interfering with anything. I'm asking you why have. you're running my vehicle. Yeah, you because you want to identify yourself. I don't you keep ask You keep asking to get involved in my investigation. And he keeps asking for you to get involved in my investigation, but you won't ID yourself. I don't have to. I'm not in trouble. You're not detained. Okay. You're right. I forgot. You know the law. You're law enforcement. I do know I forgot. Right. Is your name Steve? Get the den covered. 103, Petey. We've had an interesting one, so I'm going to have to escort you to the office to look in this vehicle. He's been very cantankerous and uh, says that I can't tow it, but, you know, no, yeah, we can. Three, and it's this uh, Mustang. Are you able to get a return on the vehicle? Driving on suspended. He, I'm he sorry, ran I've down lost the tag so, number. Can you give it to me one more time? Uh, yeah, we're going to get it. I'm going to stay here until get it. Yes, we're well, towing it, but i got an inventory. I haven't let me inventory or nothing. So it's easier just for me to escort you to the... <clears throat> I don't know just yet. Hopefully they'll cooperate enough to give us some keys. But... All right, let me see what we can do. Hey, Sean. 
Have you got the keys to the Mustang? I have okay, not got anything back on yet. Do you want us to use the keys to put it on there, or do you want him to just pull it up on there? I don't want to put on there at all. That was okay, I understand that, but we're, we're past that point. It is going to be put on there. Correct. I'm just trying not to get it torn up, okay? Um, I still don't know uh, what either. statute or law says you can take my vehicle. Okay, I'm not arguing with that. I'm, right I'm not trying to argue. I'm asking for a verification. You have to do you want us to give us, to give us the keys, or do you not? I don't want to give you all my keys, no. Okay, that's fine. Do you have something to say? Did you have something to say to me? I said you were the reason people fear the police. You're not a very good officer. Done. Please get off property. Your your thing here is done. You do not have a reason to be on my property. You can leave. I thought you were saying something to me. She was Are you talking done out talking? Loud. I'm talking out loud to this officer right here. Okay. Thank you. After this video, the car was towed to the police parking lot and $30,000 was demanded for its release. After an exhausting process, Mr. Sean collected the money through various campaigns and announced that he got the car back with the update he released on January 14th, 2024. He also announced that he will start the legal process on the issue.